Welcome to the Goodwood Racecourse, home to some of the South Coast's most prestigious events, but this time, playing host to a slightly different kind of horsepower. There aren't many motorsports around with such a range of road-based machinery. From tiny classic minis to super grand tourers and beautiful classics, the competition is always tight. Raw power counts for less than handling in these tight technical auto solo courses, but even when it all goes wrong, the worst you can expect is a little straw stuck in your wheel arch. In many ways, it is the perfect introduction to motor racing. To be honest, an introduction was exactly what I needed, because this is the car I'd be driving a 1988 Fiat Panda, one litre. It is by no means a performance car, but it is light and nimble, very small and surprisingly quick, at least until you reach 30. Before taking part, every car is inspected and anything loose must be tied down, fixed or removed. Unfortunately, my shoddy wheel hubs were now completely on show and the battery needed some serious attention. Yeah, the battery was on top of the clamp. <laughs> the clamp was purely there. It was there to support itself. Every competitor is given the chance to walk the course ahead. And before too long, I found myself sitting on the start line, ready to go. After a few runs in each direction, I had the chance to think about my car's performance, whilst marshalling, of course, with the other drivers. I wasn't in with a chance of winning, but I couldn't wait to get back in the car and really try and use all 44 horsepower at my disposal. It wasn't long before I was reminded how temperamental old cars can be, especially when you're pushing them a little more than usual. Sorry. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. 
Oh, no. <laughs> oh. 3.2 it. Oh, well, there's always one more. Don't hold that next time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there you have it, my first motor racing experience. I had a fantastic time and would thoroughly recommend Auto Solo to anyone. Thank you very much for watching.